Okay, so let's have a go at baking this. And I want to bake again because I'm going to show you a few potential pitfalls that you're quite likely to run into. So let's go into object mode this time because you can bake from either post mode or object mode. And we've got a live action on here. This is the one that controls the child of constraint being turned on and off. And also it controls the hips and the head. So I don't really want to lose this information. So I could push it down or if I choose to bake, we'll go object, animation, bake action. We just need to make sure that we choose overwrite current action. I'll turn off only selected bones because I haven't selected any. And I'll turn on visual key in because we've got constraints. And this time I'm going to bake both the pose and the object together. So I'll shift click on pose. Choose OK. I'll turn off these, con these tracks underneath. So we're just using the baked action. And if we play this back, let's have a look at the result. You can see we've got an issue. Basically, the hands are no longer flat onto the box. And this is because we baked all of these existing tracks, these actions, into the existing live action, which contained the keyframes to switch on and off in pose mode, the constraint for the child off. If I turn this off, let's just zoom in a bit. As soon as I turn this constraint off, it's going to flick straight back on. So basically, we need to make sure this is left off. And to do that, we need to not have the keyframes that turn it on on the live track that we're baking onto. So let's just undo this. Go you know, before the bake. And what we'll do instead is quite simply, we're going to push this action down from the live action into its own strip. And now we can bake without having to worry about it. So we we'll do object, animation, bake action, visual key in. We don't need to overwrite anymore because there's nothing on that live action. Turn that off. Shift click pose so it does both pose and object. Basically, that's the object is the movement of the armature object, and pose is the bones inside of the armature. And we'll choose OK. And we'll turn all of these off now. We'll press play. Let's see what happens. So we've got a bit of a problem there. The hands are in the middle in the midair. And this is because when we bake the action and turn these off, we go over here. you'll see the child of constraint was turned on. So when I turn these off, this was turned on. So there's basically, when I move the timeline over here, there's nothing to turn this back off again. So to fix this, all we'll do is either, we could have baked on frame one, which probably would have been a good idea. But to fix it, we can just go to the action, the channel, which is responsible for turning this on, which is the top one here. And we'll just turn this on and then back off again. And that's going to make sure that any modifiers that were controlled by those keyframes will be put into their correct initial state. So then we'll play it back. And now the hands are going to be sticking on there perfectly. And then just like earlier, join the animation chapter. If we want to, we can now fine tune the animation by tweaking these baked keyframes. So I'll select both hands in this example. So this one and this one. So we're only seeing with this option ticked, this little arrow, we're only seeing the keyframes for the two hand. We don't want to see the bake action. This is for the actual movement of the armature. So we'll turn that one off. And then I want to go to the point, for example, where the hands start coming forward onto the box. So frame 60 was where they landed on the box. And frame 50 was where they started coming up onto the box. So 50, remember, the arms are by the side. So let's find another point where the arms are by the side. So here, and then we can delete all the way up to frame 50. X, delete the keyframes. We'll go to frame 60, change the snapping to 2D cursor, and we'll choose these ones. And now we can scale these all the way back. So SX, take that all the way back over there. And now if we play it back, the hands are coming up much more slowly. So that's just an example of one thing you could do. Or if you need to, you can then turn this off entirely, we'll push it down, turn it off, and then revert completely back to your original animation. So now we've got an in-depth knowledge of the animation system, let's move on to putting the robot into a realistic scene. 